welcome back to good morning tobago on tobago updates viewers now we are switching gears and we're getting into some conversations with civil net as we assess what's been happening in tobago with the tha over the past year 2022 into 2023 um actually 2023 to 2024 i'm getting my years mixed up so to have this conversation with us this morning we are being joined by the chairman of civil net mr rodney pigott so special good morning and welcome to you and How are you Good morning to you, Candice. So great to be on your show for uh, for the new cycle, this new year that they call 2024. Yes. So, I mean, before we get started on that too, when, when we were um, on the break, Mr. Pigott was telling me something very interesting about 2024. It's not just a new year, but it's a start of another new sets of energy. Um, so just give us a little <laughs> yes yes uh well, what we are talking about is the new cycle that has just begun on january 15th monday uh, and that is the ending of a, a great year and a great year is comprised of twenty five thousand eight hundred years so this is a once in a several lifetimes occurrence right not many people are going to see the ending of a great year and the beginning of another great year mm. so a new great year is coming into focus another 25,800 years is now coming into focus this is an astrological event and so that energy is now sweeping through the planet uh, and what we've seen coming out of the the last great year which is called the Kali Yuga this was the reign of the ego self so to speak where people were mostly concerned about um building empires and and <laughs> and dominating others this is the era where you saw the enslavement of, of 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 the african by by two different factions the arabs and the europeans and so forth where empires were built on the backs of others so this is what the ego self does the ego self competes with others and it seeks to expand itself by diminishing others well that era is coming to a close and the new era coming into space now is where one must become more spiritual more internal where the real push is not to be the greatest person on the planet so i don't want to be greater than you but to actually be the greatest version of myself so you see, when everyone focuses on being the greatest version of themselves, then everyone can be the greatest version of themselves. But if I'm focusing right now on being the greatest speaker on this podium, then that means I'm competing against Candice. <laughs> and so Candice and I cannot be the greatest at the same time. So that's the ego self. And that is what's going out of the space right now, the planet right now, that energy is, is seeping out like a water hose and it just drips right now. And so one must now begin to internalize themselves and grow themselves from the inside, cultivate their spirit as opposed to cultivating the ego self, which is about competition. The spirit is about cooperation. And that's where we have to go at this time in our lives. And certainly a uh, very interesting words this morning, very interesting philosophies all wrapped up in that little couple of minutes there. I mean, you learn something new every day, viewers. But, you know, getting into what's happening with uh, the Civil Net survey, mm -hmm. where this is the second year running and you guys are seeking to find out from the public how was the past year in governance for the THA? Yes, and you were accurate the first time, Candice. It is for the 2022-2023 period. Okay. So the first um, survey uh, covered December 2021 to December 2022. And now this survey covers December 2022 to December 2023. And we're simply seeking from the public, civil society, what's your perception? What's your opinion on how um, the persons that we have elected to office, uh, to, to mind our business, to mind the business of Tobago, how do you think they have uh, performed? How do you think that entire governance structure has performed? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a scientific survey, it's simply an opinion perception. So there are no wrong answers. It's just you, you now have an opportunity to say how you feel. You have a voice and to, to be say honest. how you feel. Exactly. Yeah. 
And th th this, like I said, this is the second year running. This is the second year. Can you remind year. us of what was the result? What were the results from t last year's survey? And the beautiful thing about this, Candice, that's a very good question, is that when you go online uh, to take this survey, and it's available online as well as paper surveys, and we're running out of paper surveys, we've done <laughs> just about all of them, uh, but uh, the online is still there. Uh, it can be found at uh, the URL called tinyurl, so T-I-N-Y-U-R-L dot com forward slash rate, R-A-T-E, T H A 23 23. You go to that, or you can go to Tobago Civil Nets Facebook page and get the link, and it's right there. there for you. And you, when you go online to take that survey, uh, at the end of that survey, there is the link that takes you to the results of last year's survey. Mm -hmm. So anyone can go there and review those results to see the different categories and how it was rated. Uh, but uh, from the last survey, uh, the number of people I think that participated in that was about 315, if I'm not mistaken. And from that, the voice, the voices that came forward said, look, I don't think you guys did so well in there. You can do better. A lot of the comments was geared towards um, encouraging them to do better. Uh, we know you're young. Uh, we know that this is your first time at the wheel. Um, you know, you're not a, 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 an administration that has been around for the last 20 something years. You just got there. There's going to be some growing pains, mm -hmm. right? But we want to see you do better. We want to see you focus on what you know you can do and you know you can do it. And we want you to do it because if you do it, if you succeed, then Tobago succeeds. The reason why we put you there, the reason why we, your employers, employed you is because we saw value in you. And we saw that you had the potential to go into the, our office, our THA. This is the Tobago House of Assembly, not any party's House of Assembly. This is Tobago's House of Assembly. And we are Tobago. And so the reason we put you there is because we saw the potential for you to improve things, to fix things, to, to take us up a couple of notches and we know you can do that and that's what we want you to focus on doing forget about focusing on on what someone else has not done focus on what you know you can do you see and again this is where that new great year comes in yeah stop competing against others you see stop trying to be greater than others be the greatest version of yourself and when you focus on being the greatest version of yourself then there's no boundaries to that nothing can stop that part of yourself, that spirit part of yourself, that internal focus of yourself. There's no boundaries to that because that is, that is infinite. You're part of the infinite spirit. So you're infinite as far as that's concerned. But when you focus on the outside and how far you can go on the outside, you're going to bump up against wars. You will bump up against another person who wants to go in the opposite direction of where you're trying to go. And there's going to be a pushing match, a shuffling match and another world war. Mm -hmm. We see all the wars that we have going on all around the place. It's the people trying to push this way and push that way on the outside. And they're not focusing on the inside. So this is where we need you to focus. Go inside yourselves. See to it that you know that you could do better. You know what you can do. And just get down to doing it. And when you do that, we the people will see it. And when we give you our performance rating, it will reflect as far as it's concerned. How important is participating in a survey like this? It's very important. And let me uh, focus on saying, first of all, that while CivilNet is um, sort of pushing this, it is a, a collaboration between CivilNet and the Tobago Council of Elders. Before embarking on it, we consulted with the elders. Is this something that's needed? Should we do this? How should we do this? Will you help us do it? You see, and we got together, we formed a committee, a planning committee, comprised of civil net members and the Council of Elder members. And we came together and we met week after week after week. We devoted, took our time out. No one paid us. And we met at the library and we put together this project. So this is a collaboration between Tobago Civil Net and the Tobago Council of Elders. And I want to make that known because we have to know that 
our elders, not only do they love Tobago, they want to leave a legacy behind of doing their utmost best that they have done all their lives, that they leave a legacy behind of having done all that they could do to help Tobago improve itself, to leave a platform on which you, the youth, can now stand on their shoulders and take Tobago a little bit higher. Um, so we're seeing some very, very good responses. We know that civil society must, this is your duty. As one of our elders says, Elder Reginald Dumas says, that your duty and your right is not just to vote. It's not just that every four years that you must go to the polls and tell the governance structure what you think, either by putting them back or taking them out or, or and we see all the, the way we communicate on Facebook and, yes. and, and the newspaper writings and things of that nature. That's not enough. You see, so we are the ones who must ensure good governance. It's not up to just the governance structure itself. It's we, the people, civil society. We must begin to see ourselves, Candace, as employers. And if we are, in fact, employers, then employers don't go around cussing out their employees. There's no need for that. You are the employer. You don't need to cuss out your employee. You don't need to talk about your employee behind their backs and, 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 and try to pull them down. This is where the party politics has come in and has divided civil society. Civil society must see itself as one body after the election is over. It's good to have that competition during the election. You see, we want to see who gets in there. But after the election is over, after the campaigning is over, campaigning must come to an end. Not like some suggest that campaigning must go on. Campaigning must come to an end and everyone must begin to see themselves as Tobago and the employers of those who are in office. Whether or not you're the party that employed them or not, it's too late now for you to say, well, I didn't put them there. They're there now. So you must now put your hands in the wheel and own what is there as your governance structure. And it is your responsibility, our responsibility as employers, to not just backbite against them, gossip against them, but give them our rating, give them our opinion. This is what I think you're doing wrong. This is what I think you're doing right. Please do more of this. You're going in the right direction there. No, you're going off course there. This is what we must do. And if we don't do that, then at the end of the road comes four years. We want to complain about what they did, what they didn't do. It's too late then. We must do this on an, not just on an annual basis, but on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. We must help them to help Tobago grow. So we must help them, not fight against them. We must begin to see ourselves as employers. That's our duty as civil society. And then what about in terms of whether now the THA took some of the advice that was that came out of last year's survey? Mm -hmm. um, did you see any of that making a difference in the way that the THA administration handled their business? Well, we when we looked across the landscape, we saw some changes. Uh, we saw some things put in place. Uh, we're not going to be arrogant to claim that they did it because of, of the <laughs> results of this, because no one from the administration came to us and said, listen, thank you for doing that. We saw some pointers there. You know, while it was 315 people, that was still voices from Tobago. And I have read, uh, I've read upon surveys and how surveys are conducted and so forth. And in one instance, I saw that if you have 200 people from a population, that is a good marker to represent that given population and get a 95% confidence rating. Mm -hmm. So 315 people went over that, that marker. So yes, you pay attention to that. Even if it's one voice, two voices, you pay attention to what people are saying. So no one came to us and said anything, but we did see some changes. We saw uh, perhaps some improvement in their communication and things of that nature. I don't want to go too far down the road, but I don't want to influence anyone's opinion. But based on what we saw, it appeared to be as if they paid attention to some of the comments and the results coming out of last year's survey. And it would be wise if they actually did. It would be very, very wise. Certainly. So, and of course, that is the reason why you, the public, should participate in the survey. And Mr. Pigger, just again for the viewers as we're wrapping up, where can they find the survey? 
And you can find the survey again at a URL called Tiny URL that is spelled T I N Y as in tiny URL one word dot com mm -hmm. forward slash rate R A T E T H A two three or you can go to the Facebook page of Tobago Civil Net and the link is there or you can simply call me at three two three one nine five eight I'll be more than happy to provide you with the link to that survey and we want to encourage everyone to participate don't look at it as something as if someone's doing something against someone else again we are the employers employers do not do things against their employees mm -hmm. employers want their employees to succeed because if the employees succeed the business that the employer employed them to manage succeeds so see yourself as the employer whether you're on this side or that side whether you call yourself pnm pdp tpp ida no matter what you call yourself your civil society at this moment there's no election going on mm -hmm. therefore your focus should be on tobago respond to the survey all right so thank you so much mr pigot and viewers of course thank you for you for joining us this morning and for being with us this morning and um, of course you know help we have a safe and wonderful day and we would see you again tomorrow so um, see you then